Yo, we finally made it, bro. If you've been on this channel, you've been part of my streams, man. You know we've been streaming Undisputed for a couple of years now. We've been making content for Undisputed for a few years, bro. It's finally time. Uh, the game has finally arrived. I see a few people that have early, early copies of the console version. It's looking good. It's looking clean. It's looking sharp. I'm not going to sit here and hold y'all, man. This could be groundbreaking. Y'all, this could be the change of an era, the change of a guard. Not just for games, but not just for boxing games, but just for games in general. Undisputed has the opportunity to use the current gen uh, console technology and the PC technology to make something great. So what do we want to see from Undisputed? First, you know, you want to see that they fix the main problems that we had during early access. You want to see that they uh, not just listen to the community, but implemented fixes for spammers, cheesers. Uh, that they've totally balanced the fatigue, uh, the stamina, the damage. Um, obviously, they put a lot of work into, uh, you know, making modifications to the punching, you know, the explosion that you see in the punches, the the punching animations. Hopefully, those are completely flushed. I know there were times where, you know, you're fighting with Roy Jones Jr. or you're fighting against Roy Jones Jr. And you see punches like totally with, like totally not complete, like incomplete punches. You, you, you have... Uh, your phantom punches, you know, your desync where the game is not synchronized online with your opponent or maybe the server isn't in sync with uh, the two users. No matter what it is, bro, those are things that have to be fixed and ready to go tomorrow. It's a lot of people who ordered the deluxe edition, tons of people who ordered the early access version of the game. So I expect, um, you know, a huge crowd on the servers immediately. As soon as the game launches, I think at 11 a.m., right? As soon as the game launches, I'm expecting a huge crowd of people on the servers. So it's going to be interesting to see how they've configured the servers to handle this, how stable they are. Um, you know, hopefully there's another way to invite your friends. Yo, I'm not it. I swear to God, y'all on console, we should not have lobby codes. There should be, uh, you know, like 2K implemented this social button a few years ago, I think a year ago, actually where you hit L1, R1, and it pulls up all your friends that are currently online. And from there, you can it's pretty much a user interface for, um, you know, inviting friends or seeing friends' stats or, you know, just checking out who's online or who's nearby. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully that's what we're dealing with. Um, but I'm really, I'm really interested to see if there's any differences in career mode than there were in early access. They haven't said anything about it as of yet. And I've, um, I've saw, you know, the preview of the, console version of career mode it looks the exact same but hopefully there's some some elements in there uh for the full launch that weren't in there doing early access if not then uh we're going to be having to be very creative making content if that's you know all we get for career mode um obviously down the road that's something that you know they want to uh they want to build upon but gameplay server infrastructure multiplayer online Character creation has to come first. I get it. I get it. Get a game first and then build your career mode. I get it. Um, hopefully we get fighters uh, added to the game constantly. You know, I think when it was in the, uh, maybe it was still in the ESBC phase. No, it was in the Undisputed phase. But kind of early on, before we got early access, they were kind of adding fighters quarterly. Like kind of like every month, every other month, they'd add a fighter or two, maybe three. Um, I want to see rollouts like that, especially, you know, leading up to the uh, December Undisputed update, which we probably would be the first fighter, uh, you know, additions we'll probably get in December uh, with that first update. But, you know, just looking forward to it. It's going to be an early, uh, not an early access, but there's going to be a time period where, um, you know, the season hasn't started yet, but they are going, we are going to have seasons. I'm not sure exactly what that entails as far as like rewards. Hopefully they do something where like, you know, if you're fighting a lot, if you're on the game a lot, you get rewarded with some kind of XP. Um, there, there needs to be some kind of reward for grinding this game, because I know as somebody who put 1600 hours into this game in early, while it was in early access, 1600 hours, you kind of get a sense like, OK, I'm going to be playing this game a lot because it's boxing, you know, and, and I can and outcomes change. There's different outcomes that you can create. There's different outcomes. Just this boxing. So, you know what I mean? It, it, as, as long as you're interested, 
the game will be fun. But it just adds that sense of, okay, let me start a new career. Let me create a new fighter. Let me see what kind of path I can create with this fighter. You know, forget cut scenes and all that stuff. I, I get it, you know, and, and cut scenes were something that originally I wanted and, you know, I still do. But, you know, getting the, the framework for a good career mode starts with, like, the balance of having to decide. Uh, yoga only takes, only only uh, prepares you for your fight by 10%. Um, so if you do yoga, which is your head and your body health in early access, I don't know if they kept it the same, but I thought this was very strategic from a development or developer standpoint. Yoga is one of the cheapest things you can do as far as working out on the game. And it is tied to one of the most important things, attributes you can have on the game, which is head health, body health. Now, along the way in training camp, especially if you have a short training camp, I always go with longer training camps. As soon as they let me start having long training camps, I start having like long training camps because it's about getting better for me. If I can get better, I can skip some of these opponents. That's my mindset in this game during the early access period was if I can um, improve my fighter more drastically or expect then I feel like, you know, I can face opponents that I may be not qualified to fight or or maybe maybe on paper it looks like I'm not ready for them, but I can take them on because I've put in the work. But um, yoga only gives you 10% towards being fight in fight shape. So if you're not doing long training camps, how are you going to improve your head and body health and still be in shape for the fight? You'd have to go with, like, sparring plus yoga. But, you know, I lean towards longer training camps so I can improve health and stamina. You know, like the first thing that I do when I make a fighter is I'm working on health, stamina, uh, foot speed, and uh, hand speed. You know, I add power later. I, and I've done a few careers, and I can't help it, yo. I can't help it. I cannot improve my power first. And I'm determined that that's something I'm going to do on the console version is um I'm going to – I'm going to I'm going to make a slugger that has power. I haven't done it yet. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I always make outboxers. I always make a boxer puncher for some reason. That's who I am uh, myself. You know, when I spar or I box, you know, I don't do it competitively, competitively. But when I do, I'm a southpaw. I'm, I'm a 6'5", 6'6", rangy um, counter puncher. And that's what I keep ending up making. So the, the thing, I guess I say that to say this. The thing that I do appreciate about this game is that it almost, after you play a certain amount of hours, it encourages you to make a fighter that adheres to how you fight. Not in real life per se, but more like on Undisputed. You know, if you're a calculated, one and stay right outside of range um, type of fighter on here, you can do that. You can create that fighter. And if you're somebody who wants to fight on the inside and work your way in, you can do that. I'm thinking, you know, I want to make a defensive stalwart i want to make like a 90 90 app uh 90 agility freaking 90 foot speed 90 counter punch 90 hand speed like 90 guarding 90 health i i think that's going to be one of my first projects on this game we'll see man i really really guys i really hope that now if not on launch one day we can create our fighter take him to the streets and fight each other with our creative fighters UFC found an okay way of doing this where, you know, you create your fighter and everybody starts off at a baseline uh, rating to where nobody's over, more overpowered than the next. And then you're more focused on like your aesthetics and your style, what you're wearing, your customization can be more key in that. And then it's just skill based. It's just a matter of who hits the sticks better than the other person at that point and who created a fighter that has more natural advantages. Whereas somebody with longer arms can find their range easier and mainly have a, a more um, effective jab. You know, the inside fighter might have more power and might be able to um, hit, go to the body more effectively. I don't know, man. Let's see. I Still City, I appreciate you, man. I've spent 1,600 hours um, streaming this game, told thousands of people about this game, had the opportunity to share it with a whole bunch of people in early access uh, stage. And I'm excited to go live tomorrow night knowing that boxing is back. Peace.